the series finale between the Brewers and Rockies playing under the lights before fireworks light up the night sky at Coors Field. Brewers are a season best 15 games over 500 and they are absolutely rolling right now. The crew 8 and 2 over their last 10 games. They are 9 and 5 over the last 15 days. That's the second best record in the National League tied for the fourth best in all of baseball during that stretch. It'll be the Rockies most consistent and most effective starter so far this year. That's right hander Cal Quantrill who's fallen on some tough times his last couple of starts though. I mean if you could diagram what you want as a leadoff hitter no matter what the outcome is right now this is it. Rounded fair this time to Brendan Rodgers. He'll throw out his counterpart from second. Bit off the armor of Cal Quantrill a 10 pitch AB to open up the game. Contreras at the plate having a nice series. Three hits on Monday. Three hits last night. 3 2 is lined into right for a base hit for William Contreras. Seventh hit of the series for the All Star. And there's a man aboard in front of Christian Yelich. That went back to the backstop and through the netting. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Just one base for Contreras. This will already be pitched 23. The 3 2 swing and a foul tip into the glove of Elias Diaz. Yelich down on strikes, out number two. Brewers only had five at bats with runners in scoring position last night. One for five. Line to Tovar at short. Ezekiel with the grab, and he had to work hard. But gets a zero for Tobias Myers. I think he wanted the month to stay June for a long time because he was sensational for the last 30 days. Yeah, let's see if he can keep that going. Yeah, because he was just unbelievable. Charlie had two hits on his birthday Monday, and he's been looking for another since. Charlie aligned by Monasterio, the third baseman, and into left field for a base hit. Nice way to start this ball game. Get that leadoff guy on. Now Ezekiel Tovar. Got the night off last night. He puts a bunt down. Myers' only play is to first. Not a good throw, but handled by Hoskins to get Tovar. But the sacrifice bunt puts Blackman into scoring position. This has been the problem area. Hitting in the clutch. They are 9 for 61 in the last nine games in the clutch. And Mack trying to turn that with a drive to deep left center. Yelich and the center fielder Freelich. Neither one could come up with the ball. It hit the warning track and went into the crowd. A ground rule double. Ryan McMahon, who almost put one out in that area in the eighth inning last night, puts the Rockies into the early lead. Ground rule double, 1 0 Colorado. McMahon's 44th RBI of the year. And that's ball four. So with one out, speed aboard, and Nolan Jones. He's that one towards second base. Terang flips for one. Not in time to get two. A slow developing play. He's got over the mound. It's going to be tough to turn two. Sam Hilliard, the hitter for the Rockies, looking for his first hit this year. 0 for 5. As this is long center field, that's Sam's first hit in the big leagues this year. He only had a handful of at bats. Good for Sam. Two on. And Charlie Blackman coming up here in the second. Charlie is going to hit that down the right field line. It is a fair ball. It is going to score a run. Tolia will score. Hilliard's going to be waved in. The throw comes into second. Safe is Blackman. And the throw home. Safe is Hilliard. Sam Hilliard was going to be held up at third until that throw went to second. And the Rockies able to score twice and take a 3 0 lead. Cut has to be to home right here. Churio throws the second. That's what allowed Sam Hilliard to come all the way around to score. Two outs in the inning. Quantra looking for a 1 2 3 inning. Well, the pitch count's higher than you want if you're, if you're Cal with two because outs this in the guy. third, but it's all the fault of Terang. And a fly ball to center. Sends Hilliard back, still back. It is over his head and off the wall. Terang is into second base. He'll stop there. Well, he's kept on sailing for Bryce Terang. He's got a two out double. And he's seen 19 pitches so far in this game against Cal Quantrill. Terang has seen exactly one third of Quantrill's pitches so far today. See if William Contreras can make him pay. 2 1 pitch. And it's chopped off the plate toward the mound. Tough play for Quantrill. He'll throw to first base. Got him at first. Good stretch by Michael Tolia. Better defensive play by Cal Quantrill. There's a recipe for big innings in this ballpark. The issue a couple of walks. And that's exactly what Quantrill has done here to the first three batters in the fourth. 
Couple of base on the balls in the infield at double play depth again behind Quantrill. Hoskins double play ball, but it's booted by Rogers. They'll get one second and third. That is a huge break for the Brewers. That was Taylor made 4 6 3. The Rockies get one. Let's see if the Brewers can take advantage. And he walked him. Third walk of the inning for Quantrill. He hadn't walked a batter the entire game until now. An opportunity for Monasterio. Playing in place of the injured Joey Ortiz all week. A little flare. Right center base hit. One runs in. Two runs are in. Churio held it third, and the Brewers are right back in it. Now Monasterio is going to take second base on the throw home. Great job by Andrew Monasterio. This is Brewers baseball. This is Brewers offense right here in 2024. Walking, the base is loaded, and Andrew Monasterio staying on that pitch right there, the splitter down. It's a two-run single. Monasterio comes through. It's a 3-2 to two game in the fourth. Nolan Jones walked his first time up, starts the fourth for the Rockies. And he gets jammed, slow roller to third. The third baseman makes a bad throw. It gets away, Terang trying to back up, couldn't pick up the ball. And Nolan Jones is at second base. He'll give Nolan an infield hit and then an air charge to Monasterio. What the Rockies need to do after giving up those two runs in this inning, come right back and bounce back and kind of get one or two of these back or even more. One, two coming. Tolia swings and misses at a slider. Big strikeout for Tobias Myers. Sam Hilliard, another left-handed batter, singled and scored first time up. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. Boy, Myers threw a great one there. Hilliard was so fooled. He swung with the ball almost already in the catcher's mid. Unproductive outs. Ground ball first base. Hoskins bobbles. Finds it. Tobias Myers is there, and the inning is over. A rally gets snuffed out. And the ninth pitch of the at bat results in a walk. Jackson Churio riding that nine game hitting streak. This is the worst bullpen in all of baseball in terms of ERA. Churio, fly ball center field. Back is Hilliard. It's over his head. It's going to be off the wall. Hoskins is on the move. He's going to be waved around third. The relay throw all the way. Home is late, and we are tied. Jackson Churio, an RBI double, 3-3 in Denver. Jackson Churio stays hot. Not just ties the game, extends his own personal hitting streak to 10 games. Credit to Tobias Myers making his worst field debut. That can be intimidating, but he has settled in very nicely. As Jake Cave is coming up. A couple of flyouts to left for Cave. And it's sent to center field. It's pretty well struck. Freelick is going back. Warning track and wall. It's gone! Right over the 415 sign. Jake Cave with his first home run this year. Breaks a 3-3 tie. 4-3 Rockies. And Jake Cave is getting the... Everybody's going to give me the silent treatment with my first homer. That's ball four, and he walked him. Well, tying run is on now for Andre Monasterio, and Churio can certainly run. Monasterio into right center and knock. Churio's going to turn on the Jets. He's on his way to third, and there he is. They're on the corners. Monasterio with his second hit of the ball game. There are two outs in the top of the eighth inning. Jalen Beeks has been summoned. The Brewers have Churio at third and Monasterio at first. And Garrett Mitchell is going to be the pinch hitter for the Brewers. 2-2 pitch coming to Mitchell. Strike three called. He's took a fastball on the outside edge. Jalen Beeks comes on and strands a pair. It's the top of the order for Milwaukee. Bryce Terang, William Contreras, Christian Yelich. Jalen Beeks is still out there trying to convert a save. A little looper grabbed by Tovar behind second base. And that's the first out. Another 3-2 is bounced toward short. Tovar from the outfield grass gets him by a step. Out number two. The big arm of Ezekiel Tovar pays off there. Two outs in the ninth. And Yelich will come to the plate here. Had the home run in last night's game. He has been one of the hottest hitters in the National League over the last couple of weeks. On the ground to first. Totally a good feed. The Beaks of the Rockies have defeated the Brewers 4-3 to three to split this four-game set. It's a happy, happy 4th of July for the Colorado Rockies.